Many of us are watching in horror today about what is happening in Ukraine, this Russian invasion. I feel that too, as I was in Ukraine in 2017, and I will never forget my, sit, my visit to the city of Dnipro. I met with incredible folks from military leaders who were detailing even then the violent Russian incursions in their country, but also the civilian folk I met from every sector, but no meeting moved me more than my meeting with Mayor Filatov, the mayor of this great city of Dnipro. It was a wonderful meeting, a former mayor with a current mayor, but I remember how struck I was by all the American iconography in his office. It was uh, very present. And I realized that our nation to him was a symbol of democratic ideals, freedom and liberty, self-determination. And we talked about a lot of things concerning big city mayors, but we kept returning over and over again to the threat that Russia posed. He even predicted that there would be an invasion. But he had this fierce, gritty belief that his nation would be free, that democracy would prevail. I will tell you that democracy in and of itself is defiantly optimistic. It is hope triumphing over adversity. It is the best of human nature winning out over the worst of human nature. And tyrants know that democracy and democratic ideals are a threat to them. Putin knows that. Democracy is dangerous to the oppressor. It is dangerous to oppression. And so we, the freedom-loving people, must understand that what is going on in Ukraine is a threat to democracy, to the rule of law. It is a threat to peace. This violence is a moral obscenity. And we must now stand with the people of Ukraine by joining together in historic sanctions to put real consequences on Putin's aggression. We must do what we can to resurrect diplomacy and peace from this violent conflict. And as I watched the city I visited being bombed and shelled today, I ask us all to understand that there are people right now in Ukraine dying for their dream of democracy. Please let us keep them in our hearts. Let us pray for them and let us pray for peace.